Today we solve some numericals of the chapter Measurement in Motion Standard 6. So the question is, a particle is moving in a circular path of radius 7 cm. Find the ratio of its displacement to the distance covered after the completion of half a circle. Before you solve the question, you should clear about the concept of distance and displacement. Distance is the actual length of the path and displacement is the shortest distance between the initial and final positions. Now suppose in this question you understand the particle is complete half circle. Now this is the radius 7 cm. Suppose this is point A. So particle start moving from point A and complete half circle then come to point B. B. So children, what is the initial position of your particle? A. And what is the final position? B. So displacement is the length, the distance between the initial and the final. So this is the displacement of the particle. And this is diameter of the circle. So if radius is 7, then diameter will be 7 into 2, 40. It means in this case, the displacement of particle is 7 into 2, 14 centimeter. This is displacement. Now you find what distance covered. After half circle, what distance covered? The complete circle considered as a circumference of the circle. That value is? 2 pi r if the particle complete one circle one round but after half circle the particle a to b the distance is 2 pi r by 2 value of pi 22 by 7 and value of r 7 it means 22 centimeter what is this this is distance then the ratio you have to find displacement to the distance. Then ratio will be 14 is to 22. Simplify 7 is to 11. This is your answer. The medical question is find the minimum speed required by a person standing 5 meter behind a bus. To catch the bus in one minute, which is moving at a speed of 600 meter per minute? This is very simple question. Understand very clearly. A person want to catch a bus. Now suppose this is the bus. Okay. And the person is standing 5 meter this point. We consider that the person is here. So this is the distance 5 meters. Okay. <clears throat> now the person has to st uh, catch the bus in 1 minute. It is mentioned the time. Catch the bus in 1 minute. But the bus is also moving with the speed of 600 meters per minute. What is the meaning of this? It means in 1 minute in 1 minute the distance covered by the bus is equal to 600 meter. The speed is mentioned. The speed is 600 meter per minute. It means in one minute the bus cover a distance of 600 meter. And obviously the person standing behind the bus 5 meter. So, you have to think with respect of the person. What is the actual total distance? 600 plus 5. So, with respect to this person, the distance is equal to 600 plus 5. That is 605 meter. And the time is mentioned in our question, 1 minute. Then what will be the speed for the person? Speed is equal to distance by time. So 605 by 1. It will be 605 
meter per minute this is your answer question if a bus moves from a to b and comes back to a find the displacement and velocity this is point a this is point b so the bus is started moving from this so this will be considered as the initial point or initial position bus moves from a to b come back b to a then again your final position final point or final position so when initial point and final point coincide with same point a is initial also a is final also the bus moves from b a to b and comes back to a it means the displacement is zero the displacement is zero reason you have to write because the initial position of the bus and the final position of the bus is same point a when your displacement is zero then how you find the velocity velocity is equal to displacement by time so velocity is also zero in this question you have to find the acceleration of the car if it change its velocity from 20 meter per second to 30 meter per second in 5 second so what is acceleration acceleration is change in velocity by time rate of change of velocity acceleration is change in velocity by time we know two types of velocity initial and final so this 20 meter per second is your initial velocity u and 30 meter per second is your final velocity v within time t 5 second so a is equal to v minus u by t put the value 30 minus 20 by 5 Ten by five, two, and what is the unit of acceleration? Meter per second square.